Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my new toolless flash method for putting Thingino on the WiseCam V2. Stay tuned. What's up guys, it's Josh with the WL Tech Blog. Today we've got the WiseCam V2 on the bench and I'm going to show you my new toolless install method that I developed for it. Now when I say I developed it, I really got a lot of value out of GTX A specs. WZ Mini Hacks, which is pretty popular for these WISE cameras, and I was able to use that as the basis of this new install method, so you don't even need to take this guy apart. But since this is the WL Tech Blog channel, I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. Right, I'm going to show you real quick how these come apart. You don't have to take this apart unless you want to. Here I've got my Phillips screwdriver, pop this down. Got your two screws here. Make sure there's no SD card in place. And go ahead and pop these two out. All right, now this does not just fall out. It's actually held in with tabs all the way around. Take my little flathead screwdriver and we're just gonna wedge it in in this corner right here between the two pieces. bottoms off now the back plate here it's the same deal it's just held in by a bunch of tabs all the way around and if you just kind of pull the thing apart from here it'll come off so now you have access to the board and this right here is the screw that holds everything in place all right back to the video now this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't show you what this thing was like taken apart and so I'm filming this separately while I'm working on the SD card flash process and this is the antenna connection which you want to take off because it will break and the connector for it is right there. So what we've got here on this camera we have the Ingenic this is a T20 and we've got a 16 meg flash here and we do have USB micro USB input we also have USB A if you find yourself needing to use cloner on this the USB micro port is only wired for power so you'll need a USB A to A which is not a very common cable I'll go ahead and link one down below so I did go ahead and set up the UART connection on here so it will aid me in developing the SD card flash and so on this one once you put the pins in the innermost one which is the purplish one here that's your ground All right, so receive is on the edge here transmits on the outside so of course transmit receive gets switched when you're plugging it into your reader and so we'll go ahead and show you the other side here oh also if you need to take the thing completely out this screw here next to the power port holds this entire assembly in so you don't have to actually disassemble this three or four layers of stuff to take it out of the camera it's just this one screw you need a long-ish screwdriver because it goes all the way through this tube to connect to the case now before we get started i do want to say this is not a camera that i would recommend that you buy today it is not one of their current products but they sold a hundred bazillion of them they're everywhere you might already own one you might like me find one in a thrift store i actually got a bag of four or five of these guys and a couple other cameras for about 20 bucks in a thrift store but if you're thinking about buying a camera today I recommend the Wook, which is featured in the first Thingino install video I did. This is a much newer and higher end device. This Wise Cam is going on eBay for about $25 or $30 used. The Wook is going on Amazon right now for about $20 all day long. So this is a neat enough little camera. I like the form factor. It doesn't have the pan and tilt but you can pan and tilt it with your hand. It does have, actually on the back, it has two USB ports. It's got a USB micro and also USB A port. The micro USB is only wired to power and the USB A is the one you'll need to use if for some reason you need to do a 
USB recovery on this camera, which hopefully you won't. So I've gone ahead and created a new repository on GitHub that's gonna be all the installers for the different cameras that I do videos on here. So definitely check the link in the description to get that. That also is where you're going to get the package you need for installing the hack. So you come over to GitHub and there's a little bit of information on the camera here and the steps for doing the process. Step number one, you need to get your SD card out. I've got a 32 gig, but anything over like 256 megabytes should be fine. We're only putting about 60 megabytes worth of data on there. So you format your SD card to FAT32. Do not use XFAT, XFAT will not work. Now the second step is you actually unzip the WiseCam V2.zip that's included in the repository and put that in the root of the SD card. Step number three is to get the firmware file from the releases page of Thingino. Step four, we're going to rename that file to autoupdate-full.bin and we're going to put it in the root of the SD card. Then we're going to unmount the SD card on your computer and we're going to pop it into the bottom of the camera. So let me just show you. Here is the SD card slot right there. So you might need to poke it in with a knife or a screwdriver or something. All right, now on the back of the device where you have the power and the USB ports, there's also a little dot right here. That's going to be your indicator light. What you're going to do, you have the reset button that's right here. You're going to hold down the reset button with hopefully your finger. It does click when you press it, so that's how you know you've got it in all the way. While you have it pressed, you're going to go ahead and plug in the micro USB power cord and you're going to continue to hold the button down. It's going to be about five seconds and this indicator light is going to turn blue. Once it's turned blue, you can go ahead and let go. Now the process being done by the hack script is actually it's booting into the WZ mini hack and then looking to see if you have the bootloader file on the SD card which is included in that zip so you will have it and if it is there it's going to go ahead and flash that bootloader over the factory bootloader. Once you have our bootloader in place you're able to do firmware updates and other things really easily and we're able to flash the rest of the firmware after rebooting. So that process is gonna take right about 10 minutes or so, and the camera will reboot three or four times in the process. When it's done, you should see the Thingino network on your wireless access point list. Go ahead and connect to that with your phone or your laptop, and you'll be able to configure your camera for Wi-Fi. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the actual process of flashing the camera. Your SD card should look like this. And I'm going to use the disassembled cam for this process because it's really difficult to show you what I'm doing and also do it at the same time. So we've got the back of the camera here. SD card's already in place and our LED is right here. This one you might not be able to see when it changes color. I'm going to try real hard for you to be able to see when it changes color. The reset button's right here. You can go ahead and hold down the reset button. You may have heard it click going to plug in the micro USB power and we're going to wait for this dude to turn blue. Here we go. Plug. It's yellow, 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 blue. Once it's blue, you can let go. Let this thing do its thing. All right, there's the first reboot. It's gone to yellow again. Now the light is off. Just clicked again. That's the infrared cut clicking when it engages or disengages. And now we have a Thingino network. Now we can enter in our Wi-Fi credentials. We go ahead and reboot. Another click. Go log in. Makes you set a root password. And then here we have the preview page and you can see my laptop screen. 
All right, guys, well, that's going to about wrap it up for the Wise Cam version 2. And like I said, don't buy this if you don't already have one or you don't get a smoking deal on it. You really want to get the Wook instead if you're going to pay new item money. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Give me a subscribe if you want to keep up on the newest cameras that are supported by Thingino and the latest developments on the Thingino project, as well as other hardware hacking and open source related topics. If you run into any trouble or you want to join in the community around Thingino, go ahead and check us out at the Discord channel, which I've got linked down below in the description, as well as links to the camera that you shouldn't buy and the camera that you should buy and other resources as they come available. And of course, put any questions or comments you might have down below. I definitely read them all and try to respond to everybody. And until next time, Stay fresh, cheese bags.